So to remove the lens on this, first you have to make sure that it's set to the closest setting. Then you remove the thumb screw here, remove the idler gear, and then make sure not to touch the rangefinder dial. Then unscrew the lens, set the camera aside, and you have the lens detached from the camera. Now, you should be able to look around the side of the lens here, make out this little notch, and on the side of that, there should be a little screw here. Now you're gonna need a 2.5 size flathead screwdriver, and you're going to want to unscrew that little screw right there. Set that aside and do not lose it or else the lens will not work. Now, you're gonna to wanna to grab the brass here and rotate slowly, the lens comes apart. Now to clean it, you're gonna need some 91% uh, or higher uh, rubbing alcohol and a few cotton swabs. And you just dip it in the alcohol and rub it around the edges to get all the gunk off of these uh, helical screws. Now you'll do that thoroughly for the whole, uh, the whole of the helical mechanism. And really, if it's not giving you any trouble, you don't need to put lubrication back on it. If it happens to need it, I recommend using something like Lubriplate or some other um, very fine and uh, smooth grease, but not oil. Do not use oil. So then you're going to take the two, holding it by the brass part and the focusing ring, and screw them together. Now you'll notice that this is loose while the rest of it does not rotate. You're going to want to find on there where that little slot is, see? And align that with this hole. Then you take your screw that you have earlier and replace that into the little hole there and screw it back on, making sure that it does not come out of alignment. This tends to be the tricky part. Through the magic of editing, I have screwed this screw back on. You'll see that the focusing mechanism still works. Now, you're gonna to take the, the camera body back, and here begins the most tedious part. You want to screw the lens back into the mount, but you'll find out that, uh, if you don't cross-thread it, uh, you'll find out that oftentimes this quadrant that is actually uh, toothed here that engages with the either gear does not actually line up properly with where it began. You see, this portion here should be all the way up here. So the way that you fix that is you unscrew the lens once more and you go through the last few steps all over again. You're gonna wanna bring that all the way down Unscrew the screw again, again, not losing it. And then with the brass part and the focusing ring, unscrew the lens. But make sure that you find out at the exact moment where it releases from each other. In my case, it's right here. Then you're going to want to put it down. Press it together, rotate it until you hear a click then you know it's in the next set of spirals. So then you're gonna wanna screw that back together. And then line up that notch again, replace the screw, and we're going to do the exact same process as before. Screw it back on, see if it fits, and if it doesn't, you repeat this step as many times as needed. So after enough times of rotating it, you'll get 
the, uh, the alignment correct eventually. And then you want to, well, you'll have it already screwed on after testing it. You'll see that the edge of the teeth end right there, and that's where it should go, right underneath the rangefinder window. So what you need to do now is rotate it so that the teeth are almost in line with the cocking lever. You take the idler gear and you replace it to its position. You take the lens, you rotate it clockwise until it stops. Then you take the gear, the idler gear, you rotate the rangefinder clockwise to infinity, and then you replace the gear there, and then the rangefinder is back in synchronization. But finally, you rotate this all the way counterclockwise until it stops, and you replace the thumb screw. And you have the cleaned lens.